Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we will be doing this simple 3D model on the SOLIDWORKS. We will start with the easy ones and then after some time we will be going for harder. So let's get started. First of all, we have, let's say, this triangle over here with the 10 millimeters of thickness and another one over here and then we have just one drip over here. And the, on, on the corner we have like triangle cut over here right now. So let's continue. Let's start with a part. Click OK. And then most of the time you will have to start like it's not like you will have to but if you start with the front plane when you make it normal it will be easier for you to put time like uh, dimensions and uh, like sides. Let's continue. Right now, what we will do? We have this triangle over here. 125 from one side and the other side is 53. So, let's make it. From the center rectangle tool, we can choose it and we will just choose the center and then put the dimensions. 125 from one side, the second side is 53. And then let's check. We have 10 millimeters of thickness. So what we will do, we will choose the extruded boss and base over here and make the thickness 10 millimeters, as you can see. Okay, right now, let's see. On the other side, we have another, let's say rectangle. We are thinking this as a full rectangle right now. We will be doing this as a rectangle and then we will be cutting this. Let's continue guys. Yeah, we will do this to this side. So what we have to do right now. Okay, now we will use corner rectangle over here because we will be doing this from the corner. So, yeah, right now, let's see. From down, we have 10 millimeters over here. So, difference is 10 millimeters. So, what we have, we had 125 on the bottom part, right? And we have over here 10 millimeters. So, we will be doing 125 minus 10. 125 minus 10. On the SOLIDWORKS, if you if you don't wanna like, if you are not so keen to calculate things by your mind or with the calculator or something like that, you can just use this mod like when you are giving this dimension with the di smart dimension tool, you can make these calculations over here. So we made it and we have 115 right now. And we have 64 from the right side. But this 64 is with the thickness. So what we will do, 64 minus 10. 64 minus 10. So we got 54 over here. And then we will be going for features. Extruded boss and base, but we have this direction on the wrong way. So we will click to here and then we will change the direction. And we have also 10 millimeters of thickness over here. So we got this right now. And then let's continue with this. Okay this side we have cut right and the upper side is 68 so what we will do right now we will be just putting this from corner to over here and 
give it length 68 yeah and then we will be just cutting to outside from here to here we can just cut this through all and we will get this right now I will show you the second way of doing this let's delete this okay we made this extrusion right right now let's click to edit sketch and we got this over here we could just doing this we could be just doing this yeah right. I will delete all of them right now from the corner to the right side and then just random rectangle like triangle and then when you when you come to corner you will see these lines so it means that you are on the like vertical uh, like vertical to this uh, this corner and this one is also horizontal as you can see from here and then we will be putting the dimensions 64 minus 10 64 minus 10 sorry we got 54 and then 68 over here yeah and then from this corner to here we got 10 millimeters so when we do this we will have extruded face like over here like that and then guys what we will do we have one rib over here but before that when we did this extruded face like over here this part we could be just doing this just drawing this like rectangle and with this triangle over here so without this but right now we will just cut it but it's at the end so let's continue with the rip for this rip it's we have this length over here 45 millimeters so what we can do we will be using rip function over here but before that let's start with this we need we have to make a drawing over here right now we need one line to use the rip function so what we will do we will use one plane over here and then flip normal and then when you do the flip offset you will just make it reverse like to the other side and as you can see we got 45 over here but we have also thickness 10 millimeters and we will like when you use the rip function it starts from the center so 5 millimeters to the left side 5 millimeters to the right side so we have to make one drawing to the center so 45 plus 10 divided by 2 so we have 50 from the this phase we need to make this plane 50 millimeters to the left side right we have 50 over here you can just change it like and it's moving as you can see we made it right now and then normal to this plane as you can see we have this face and rib is going from here to here right now let's make a line from here and to the here just random point it doesn't matter right now let's check we have 10 millimeters of thickness over here 
and from the face we have 38 millimeters on the bottom side so what we will do right now we will use the smart dimension tool and from the corner to the here we will put 38 over here and when you do this it looks like that right now and then go to features and rib you can when the on the rib function function sorry you can make it to the left side right side or to the other side and you can just flip the side and when you click this we have this rib over here right now and then you can just hide this plane from here and we have just one small one, one more step over here we have 25 from the down let's make it normal we have this over here we are making one sketch right now we made one line let's check one by one we have 25 over here we put the dimension over here 25 right now and then we have 44 from here so we will be going 44 from here we came to here right now and then we will be just doing that we will complete the triangle over here and then it shows it shows us that like we have this triangle over here and then we will just going the extruded cars cut sorry and then we will just cut it and then as you can see we have our model here and then if you want we can just give it a color but not only the, this side sorry we have something like that yeah yeah I hope you enjoyed guys if you like the video please subscribe to channel and put a comment leave a comment please and see you on the next video bye bye